Hello everyone, this is Dart, and it is time to get some more Magic Duels Dailies done. Uh, today we've got cast 15 green or white spells, win two games, in which you cast a red or green spell, and cast 10 spells by paying an alternate cost. I don't know about this one, but yeah, this looks pretty straightforward. For that, went ahead and put together a landfall ramp deck. And I haven't done anything like this before. It should be kind of fun. We've got a lot of ramp, a lot of landfall, landfall, excuse me, and quite a few big nasty creatures so without further ado let's jump into this and see if we can't get these dailies finished okay and we are up against magma dude all right let's see what we get A few lands, a Chandra, an Omnath, and a Pilgrimage. That can be good. We'll go and keep it. So our opponent is running some form of blue and red deck. That's fine. There's an Akum Flame Seeker from our opponent. A three cost, three two. It's got a cohort ability of tap to tap an untapped ally you control. Discard a card, draw a card. Play the elemental bond. Yeah, our opponent's going to attack, try and induce a block with Chandra. So we will skip blocking. And instead, you Chandra's ability to ping him for damage before the end of his turn. There's an Outland Colossus. I'm thinking we go ahead and play the Colossus, honestly. It's a huge creature. And if our opponent decides not to block, it becomes even huger. And here's a grip of the royal. Yeah. No surprise there. Luckily, we also have Omnath in hand. So if we can get Omnath in play, we can start filling the board with little 5-5 five five elemental tokens. And that's going to be game over. Our opponent casts a Boulder Salvo. 
at Chandra. Rude. And attacks with this 3 2. Let's go ahead. Plain Mrs. Pilgrimage. And just because we can, let's go ahead and surge his 3-2. plays a dark slick drake, a 4 cost 2 4 with flying. If it dies, draw a card. And a Numara Entangler, 2 cost 2 1 with prowess. have enough to cast on math. Not good for our opponent. Not at, not even a little bit. Let's do this. We're going to go ahead and attack with the Outland Colossus and it can't be blocked by more than one creature. So basically if our opponent wants to block it, he basically loses a creature. And he elects to throw away his 2-1. Okay. We will go ahead and play Omnath. Which gives us another card. A Ravaging Blaze. And we will play a Forest. Which triggers Omnath. Omnath's Landfall, which puts a 5-5 elemental creature in play which in turn triggers elemental bond which allows us to draw another card our opponent attacks for two in the air not much we can do about it right now and plays another entangler and a grip of the royal on Omnath, which is a curious choice because we don't need it untapped to use its effect. Oh well. Now we start some nastiness. Let's go to our attack phase. We will swing with both the Outland Colossus and the token. He has to block the Colossus, otherwise it turns into a 12-12. And then we're going to cast Explosive Vegetation. Yeah, what kind of lands do we want? Which gives us two more 5-5 five five tokens and two more cards. And we'll play another one. Get another token, draw another card. And I guess the game had enough of that. Because it hijacked the end of our turn.
Oh, yeah, this is fun. Just in tokens, we've got 20 damage. And the Colossus, which you'll have to block, is another 6. So I'm guessing we swing right now for the win. Let's just attack with everything. Yep. Pretty much as expected. Okay, and it looks like this turn we are up against Spider Dude. Can I call him that? Because he's got like way too many eyes all over the top of his head and stuff. Well, I just did, so I guess it's a thing now. Alright, what do we get for an opener here? A few lands, an Outland Colossus, an Orn Reef Hydra, and a Gaia's Revenge. Huh. But we don't get any ramp. Uh, decisions. Let's draw a new diamond. Well, I really don't want to draw down to six. We'll go ahead and keep this. Maybe we can make it work with the territorial Bailoff and Nissa. I don't know. There's a fourth land, that's encouraging. And it looks like our opponent's running some sort of blue Eldrazi deck. It's got a flyer with ingest and blah blah blah. and play Nissa and see what happens. I'm not crazy about this play, but we kind of need the land to get the ball rolling on our own strategy here. Opponent plays a Stonework Puma. And here comes this little Eldrazi thing that goes chewing at our deck. Nom 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 nom. And it eats a boulder salvo. Okay. That's fine. But I've pretty much had it with the thing. I don't want it eating, eating anything important, so let's go ahead and destroy it. Play a Ravaging Blaze just to get rid of the thing. Could have saved it, but we didn't need to. Got plenty of threats in hand. No attack with the Pima, huh? That's interesting. Let's go ahead and play a forest. And basically what I want to do is set up to flip Nyssa if necessary. Or at the very least buy time to get Omnath into play. So let's go ahead and play the Grove Rumbler. Now if we can get the Grove Rumbler and the Bailoth in play then Pilgrimage will be in a very good spot. 
That's just landfall bonuses for days. And here's an even bigger flyer. This one doesn't do play hell with our deck though, so that's a little bit better, I guess. Let's pay the, play the Bayloth. Let's go ahead. Do we attack and dare him to block? Yeah, let's do it. Prefer to keep our opponent on the defensive as much as possible. comes three in the air. The opponent plays a gravity negator. I guess he's made a whole deck full of these little annoying Eldrazi flyers and whatnot. And a blinding drone. Lovely. But he's tapped out and can't use its special effect. That's good. Be drawn to a Zendikar, Zincar Zendikar Incarnate, which is fine. Let's go ahead and play the Pilgrimage. And that flips Nyssa. Let's go ahead and plus Nyssa. There's a Plated Crusher. Big old nasty creature. And we will go ahead and attack. Our opponent has to block because we're showing 15 damage. So Nissa may not survive, but our opponent is definitely in a world of hurt here. We wouldn't play the Zendikar Incarnate. And here comes a Ruin Processor. Little 7 cost 7 8 Eldrazi that he can return a creature or a card that we have in exile for 5 life. My guess is he'll do that. Yep. He attacks. Nissa for five, putting it into her. Let's go ahead and play on that. We can do that post combat though. Do we want to swing with everything? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and attack with everything here. Well, that's kind of foolish. Let's 
So we can play Omnath. And I have a feeling we're going to be depriving him of one of his creatures. He plays another Ruin Processor. So we can get rid of this thing. He swings for seven. We'll go ahead and take it because I'm not going to throw away Omnath for that. Trigger Omnath's landfall ability, which gets pretty sick pretty fast. And we will go ahead and play Mrs. Revelation, I have a feeling. Be a big creature. Uh, I guess we settle for the Bayloth. And we'll take the explosive vegetation as a follow up. Actually, let's do this. This is renewal. That and that. And we're going to take that. Fills our hand up nicely. Do we need to attack? No. We'll play defensive here for a second. not to attack do we have enough to play the Bayloth and yes we do and play the explosive vegetation. This is two more tokens and allows us to buff our Grove Rumbler. Let's go ahead and swing with these two. At this point, I, I really don't care what he does. That takes out one of his doohickeys, though. The creature player to deal three damage to. Ah, uh, yeah. Then we get another one. Let's take out his other creature, then. Another Avenger from our opponent. I don't think our AI friend over here has figured out that he's absolutely doomed yet. Let's go ahead and fire impulse this. This is Renewal. Okay. 
You may as well just swing with everything and win the game, huh? that set of dailies thank you guys for hanging out and playing some magic duels with me today this is dart and as always good luck and have fun in all your games